Hello everyone, welcome back. In this new beginner series, I will like to model that glass object. Also, I will show you how to use cloner object to get this kind of repetitive patterns. In addition to that, first time I will use normal move and normal scale tool. So let's get started. First thing, let's go to front view, press shift and V, select back and select the reference image. Go back to our perspective view. I will create my first object and it's going to be a disk. I will enable my lines so we can see the polygons. My disk has 16 segments. That is going to be enough. Now I can make my object editable. Press C or you can press here. So now I can play with the polygons, edges or points. This time I will extrude polygons, so let's select them all by pressing Ctrl A. Let's go to front view and move these polygons down somewhere here. And actually I am gonna increase that transparency. Then I am gonna switch to scale tool, press here or press T and scale that. After that, right click, select extrude. But make sure that you turn on caps. Otherwise, the bottom cap will be empty. So turn that on. Let's switch to front view and move these polygons up. Switch back to scale tool and scale them. I can delete these top polygons. Delete. Now, if you look at our reference image, we see that that glass has a repetitive pattern. So I am going to do that. I will try to do that with a cloner object. But first thing, we need to select some polygons. For example, I can select these two. Also the bottom ones, which are connected to these top polygons. Now I am going to invert that selection. Press here or you can press U and I and simply delete this. I will press Alt, select cloner object. This is gonna automatically make the disk child of the cloner. In the cloner settings, I will change my mode to linear if my mouse let me do that. Sorry, not linear. I will set it to radial. In the count settings, that mouse is that. So I'm gonna switch to my bigger one, but it may make some sounds. So sorry about that. Let's make it 8, because if you remember, our first disc had 16 segments, and now I have these two. So if I multiply that with 8, I will get 16. So I will set it, my count to 8, then set my radius to 0, so that I will get the same shape. Now let's put that cloner under a subdivision surface. Press Alt and select Subdivision Surface or just create a Subdivision Surface and put that cloner under that Subdivision Surface. But we have a problem, you see that these objects in the cloner are not connected. But there is a way to fix that. Select the cloner, press Alt and select Connect Object. This is going to automatically weld these points for us. So if I enable my Subdivision Surface, you will see that they are connected. I will need sporting edges for the bottom part. So let's select loop cut and I will cut right here. Also, I'm going to make a cut around here. Switch the points mode. Select light and move point up after that i will switch to polygon mode i will only select these polygons for doing that i need to turn off iso line editing so i can see the polygons that i select i will select these ones right click and exit inner Then 
I will deselect these ones, right click, select normal move, and I will push these polygons just like that. I will turn off that rock plane so you can see better. And I will change my play to normal. I believe that these edges are too close to each other. So we need to move them away from each other. So easiest way to is to select them. We should scale mode and scale them just like that. And maybe we can move them like that. After that, I am going to select these top two edges, select slides and move them down. I will add one more look cut around here. Select that point and push it back. Another look at right here. If you want to make that edge sharper, you can select these, select slides, and push this down. So, which make that edge sharper, but I will keep it that way. Now, let's look at the bottom. I think we will need another look at around here. But because of these triangles, I cannot do that. Instead of that, I can select these edges, right click, select light, I press control and make that extrude. You may get that normal shading problem. Go to Funk Tank. I can turn off edge breaks and increase my phone angle. Looks good. These triangles, to fix them, I'm going to just simply delete them. And to make my connect object editable, press C or you can press here. I only one object so that i can select these ones and close that hole you can do that by extruding them press ctrl extrude with scale tool after that i can say collapse but i don't think this is the best way it's gonna work but not the best way so what i usually do I create a sphere. I will turn that glass for now and enable my lines. In the sphere settings, I will set it to hexahedron. Then I'm going to double click on these edges. This is going to show me how many edges I have. It says 32. If you don't have that, you can press Shift and V. Go to Hood and enable, select it. Edges. So I will need a disk with 32 segments. So let's increase our segments something like 18 and make it editable. I will double click on the center edges and it says 24. So I will go back, increase that number. Let's try 24 and I got the exact edge count. So now I will go to selection, field selection. I will select the bottom polygons, then delete. Now I can select these top polygons. So you should scale tool and scale them to zero. While you're doing that, press shift and this is gonna snap the percentage of that scale. Let's make it zero percentage. Enable our glass and I will move that polygon the very bottom actually we can enable snap and i can enable edge snap and put it right here turn that snap off 
Now I will make these two objects one object. So let's select them all. Right click, connect objects and delete. So these two loop selections are going to be automatically selected. Or I can just double click on them. Right click, select the chance you. Let's connect these ones. Perfect. But we don't need these extra polygons. I can select them, right click. And so, to make a better distribution, I can select these polygons with Live Selection tool. Right click, select Brush. I will change its mode to Smooth. And some of these points. If you look at the button points, you see that they are not perfectly flat. I can select them with rectangle selection tool. Switch to scale mode. And scale them to zero. Press shift and set it to zero. Now I am going to select all the polygons. Switch to polygon mode. Right click and select extrude. But before doing that, we need to align these normals. You see that they have different colors. They all should be like these yellow polygons. So I can select them all, right click and say align normals. It's going to fix that. Now for the thickness, I will select extrude. Make sure that caps on. And exit. This time we will face another problem. You will see that these polygons are all intersecting. So to get rid of that, I will go back, Ctrl Z. This time I will set my offset to like something very low, like minus. Point one. It's gonna make very small extrude, but I will change normal scale and scale these polygons. So we will not face that problem anymore. However, we will need to fix some things like these edges needs, needs to be higher like that. Also, I am going to make a loop selection, go to selection, loop selection, select these polygons. After that, go select the field selection and on the select these button polygons. I will move these up. But I think I need to select these polygons too. So make a cut, then finish that with the field selection. Now I can move this up. Just like that. Let's enable subdivision surface. We will need sporting edges for the sharp edges. So let's select the loop cut. Get these loop cuts. Let's check that. Looks perfect. But I want to add these loop cuts. I don't like to leave these polygons like that. Another one here. And let's not forget the insides. By the way, I am pressing shift. So the loop cut will snap to the very middle. You see that our normals are flipped. So I'm going to right click and say reverse normals.
if you don't like the shape of the glass you can select your mesh press shift and create a fft deformer or you can just create an fft and put it under your object and say fit the parents but if you do that by pressing shift it is going to automatically fit the parents i can select the points of fft and change the shape of my glass i can increase the point scale on this top point it's all up to you i will leave it like that to make that fft editable select your object right click and say current state to object and delete that one i made a simple render setup just a single hdri and some glass material with refraction is on so if you if you look at the glass you see that the inside of that glass is too sharp first thing i'm gonna turn off that render select my object turn off subdivision surface if i select that look at by double clicking on that and dissolve that this is gonna soften these edges like before and after this is not gonna be enough so i will select these also and dissolve them let's enable subdivision surface this is a lot better but i want to do one more thing i will go to selection loop selection but make sure that you are on polygon mode select these polygons go to selection one more time select fill selection this time i want to move these polygons down i will go to loop selection press shift and select these ones i think i need to move them like that i can scale them Yeah, looks better i'm gonna make another loop selection then fill selection and scale this okay looks all right i will enable my interactive viewport yeah now looks a lot like that Okay, 